Good morning, folks. Not going to hold back one bit today. Going to earn that like button as the climate hammer begins to drop. We've got stellar news as well, and we'll start at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, We're Quiet. The coronal holes continue turning through, however, and the next space weather should be the enhanced solar wind from them. Due at the planet over the weekend, expect KP4 to 6, possible low-level geomagnetic storms. Otherwise, all is quiet on the sun, so let's go to a discovery that is relatively mundane, unless you know there are critical aspects of what they should be finding in the cosmos regarding Nova. It turns out that up to half of the supernova are being missed, which makes me wonder about the classical nova, recurrent nova, and dwarf nova. How many of those are they missing? Folks, we've got movement in the Earth's rotation data, but it's not like before. We've been seeing them creep the fastest day faster and faster, and then wipe that data totally, seen it four times this year. Today, we drop back to a slightly slower prediction without a total data wipe, still over two milliseconds fast predicted for a day in November. Today's top story is a three in one, and it starts with Jupiter. For 50 years, they have been wondering how the planet's upper atmosphere was heated to the extent they observe. They wonder no longer. Jupiter's aurora is giving heat to the entire planetary atmosphere, the source of the titanic temperatures that have been a mystery for half a century. Of course, nothing to this effect is anywhere close to being in climate models for the Earth either. With every CME, every coronal hole stream, every crossing of the heliospheric current sheet, and every eight minutes during the IMF flux transfer event, heat is being pumped into our planet, and it's missing from the models. Folks, in our climate science failures chart, this points directly at pretty much the entire B list except for volcanoes. Space energy has a vastly greater influence than is credited. But now, let's go ahead and shift to the A list, and folks, I've literally pained over sharing this. Paul Vusen, the author, is no dummy and has done some amazing science in his day. He is also a stain on paleo studies and has worked a great deal to debunk the idea that magnetic excursions are dangerous. So, when he wrote this hammer strike on climate science, I was conflicted, but I'll get over it. One thing about him I can't deny, he is in the inner circle of science, and he knows what the IPCC is doing well before the rest of us do. And they're about to cut the warming projections. I can hear angels singing. They're going to be doing it primarily due to their lack of understanding clouds, which, by the way, is said to be the number one reason for their bias and oversensitivity to CO2 in the models. So let's go back to that chart. This is why they can't predict the future and the models fail reprojecting the past. That CO2 bias and cloud uncertainty is the key item in play for the IPCC to change right now. Taking us to A5, lower sensitivity models favored which is what we just learned the IPCC is about to do. Move to a lower sensitivity and lower projected warming. Folks, from the Jupiter implications to what the IPCC plans for the coming weeks, this is a giant lurch forward in the right direction. And so when Nature wrote this article yesterday, forgive my phrasing, I saw nothing but the pot spitting racial slurs at the kettle. Block political meddling, you say. Scientific integrity, you say. The politics and money and propaganda are what got them into this climate mess, the dark matter mess too. And this has been the toe the line, gatekeeper stiff arm, science progressing one funeral at a time type politics that has pushed forward garbage and held back real science. They may still be the number one science publication in the world statistically, but over the last two years, nature has fallen to the bottom of my list of respect. It is a political publication and they are a major part of the problem. So get ready to grin at these climate reports coming. Watch for the Jupiter story to translate over to Earth systems. I highly recommend our climate playlist today, which can probably help you translate the Jupiter story over to the Earth system. That climate playlist is right below the video in the box and is also found on our channel homepage. And I didn't add this recent little nugget to that playlist, but if you watch it today, it'll feel quite good to revel in the knowledge of that one. It is also listed in the links below today. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.